So basic attack is just Storm Strike with enhanced Storm Strike and then like chance to make vulnerable. And then we got the tornadoes. Three points in Predator Instinct, crit chance. Uh, one point Earth and Bulwark, one point into this to gain Unstoppable, very important. Uh, one point Cyclone Armor, this will give you like 20% DR to non-physical. Um, you can also like grab this if you want, you can also like put points here if you want. These aren't like too bad, these are fine. Uh, this is very good, I think, if you have like three defensive points, like three defensive um, skills. If you, for example, have like plus one to all defensive skills, I would probably play a Blood Howl instead of my current like Rabies. Rabies really doesn't do anything on this build, it's just like there because I don't have like anything else. And I have like plus one Rabies on my gear like randomly. If I had plus one defensive skills, I would just, just like play Blood Howl and maybe like put points here. Uh, I'm not playing companions at all. I feel like ravens could be maybe usable there, like with the crit chance vulnerability that they provide. Then here in Wrath is like where it actually gets interesting. If you have like plus one Wrath, you can also use Trample for mobility. I have like plus one Rabies, so I'm like using Rabies as my last skill, which is kind of terrible right now. And then you want like one point elemental exposure, uh, three points Endless Tempest and three points Bad Omen, I think. This will increase the duration of Hurricane, and this will increase the, or like give you a lucky hit to have a 30% chance when you deal damage to Vulnerable, Immobilized or Stunned, that a Lightning Strike will also deal like more damage, like uh, will also like rain down and deal damage, right? The Hurricane itself deals damage around you, and expect to um, also have a Vulnerable, yeah. You could also spec it to Savage. Hurricane, I feel like this is also not that bad. But right now I don't feel like I need it. And that's basically it, like nothing down here. In the actual game you probably want to get like perfect storm done as well. Alright, uh, gear. Or aspects rather. The staff has tornado seeks up to six targets. Uh, boots have wild unstoppable, you gain uh, movement speed. So like whenever I use this, I also gain movement speed. And yeah, you can either play Wind Shear or uh, Storm Strike, and you can either play Tornado or Lightning Storm. Kinda like depends on your gear, I guess. Uh, this one is great for Tornado. This one over here is great for Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm crits spawn three Dancing Bolts that like seek out enemies. So like right now this is useless. If I was playing Lightning Storm, this is useless. It's not like perfect at all right now. Um, we also have... Kuruka strikes with storm skills charge the air around you for 1.1 seconds, causing lightning strike to periodically hit an enemy in an area for 420 lightning damage. So this is also nice. Duration can be extended by additional crits. This is very very nice. Uh, and also this one, lucky hit, up to a 70% chance when dealing lightning damage to overload the target for 3 seconds, causing any direct damage to them to deal, uh, to pulse rather, additional damage to surrounding enemies. Uh, yeah, I have uh, currently just like these skulls in here for additional armor because I think armor is pretty good. Um, this one doesn't have a socket, so I mean, ideally, you want to have a socket here as well. Ideally, you want to have like everything socketed, but I mean, yeah. Uh, next one over here, this one I think is really, really nice. Cyclone armor provides physical damage reduction as well. In addition, Cyclone Armor will be also applied to nearby targets, or like nearby allies rather. So this one gives you, on Cyclone Armor, not only like 20% non-physical DR, but like just basically like 20% damage reduction to everything, right? So like very, very nice. You don't even like have to press this ever, just like have it on your bar. I mean, you can press it as like a panic button sometimes, so like you knock back enemies. But I don't really like do that ever. Like almost never. Uh, this is just like generic, like become injured while co crowd controlled, grants you unstoppable for 4 seconds. Like, uh, like you basically cannot die when you're. Or, like, rather, you don't die to like getting stunned because of this, because you will get unstoppable for 4 seconds and then you can at least like run around or like use a pot. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah, this is how I heal, by the way. This is how I have like heal, and this is actually like really, really nice, I think. You heal for 2.5. 
3 life per second for each close enemy, up to 46 life per second. This is like regen basically, and in this game I feel like it's really really hard to get like leech or regen or healing. I mean, Druid has good healing, and if you have like plus 1 defensive skills, you can easily get like 20% healing from Blood Howl. Like Druid does have good healing. My build right now actually has no healing really. It only has like the regen from this, and then like Earth and Bulwark. Helmet doesn't have any implicit right now. That's basically the build right now. And then of course you want to like, oh yeah, you want you want to get CDR on Amulet. You want to get CDR on Helmet. I'm actually like using a kind of low level Helmet, but like low eye level, but it has CDR. So I'm using this just because it has CDR. And same here. And actually I found out also like if you upgrade items, like this had like 4.5 I think before. This is such an amazing Amulet by the way, like movement speed. Spirit cost reduction and CDR, like it's pretty darn good actually. I like it a lot. I mean, maybe there's better FXs instead of the like spirit cost reduction, but the CDR is so nice. Um, when am I running? The jeweler. To upgrade this, then you get more CDR. And CDR is amazing because of like Hurricane. Because you want this ideally to be up all the time. Because it's like procs, like all your lightning stuff from like here and here and here and here from your aspects like crazy. But that's basically the build right now. Yeah, 5.4% CDR now. May the light keep you. Alright, the dead mother, let's go. Once those stacks start zapping. Imagine doing mechanics. <laughs> Just get your procs up. Look at this cute guy. Should summon more tornadoes, I guess. All right, there we go. Procs are proking. If you don't proc your procs from the from the aspects, you're not actually dealing damage. But once they proc, it's like zap, 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 dead. There he is. Dude, I'm like stunned, and he like still takes giga damage from the statics. Hey, look, another drop the shot. You can suck me all you want, you're still gonna die. Nice mechanics on this boss, by the way. Legendary. 